Robot News Boston Dynamics just revealed new robot and more technology news. Hello viewers, we are back with the latest exciting news about a new robot revealed by Boston Dynamics. But that's not all. We also bring you the newest happenings and technology news that will definitely leave you in awe. But before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you never miss any latest robot news. Let's begin with the Boston Dynamics latest creation, Stretch. With a mission to build jaw-dropping robots, Boston Dynamics has once again introduced a new robot. It's probably not what we were expecting, but you're going to love this robot, especially if you're in the logistics industry. Being a global leader in robotics, Boston Dynamics has something for people from almost every industry. If you have seen people working in the warehouse facility or distribution center, you are aware of the amount of labor needed in moving boxes around and keeping a check on everything being done. But now, with the introduction of Stretch, warehouse facilities won't have to hire and manage a huge amount of labor. Because Stretch is a mobile robot that can expertly unload trailers and containers with the help of a gripper and sort out of the boxes by making decisions in real time. Labor shortages and supply chain snags continue to create challenges in keeping the flow of goods moving, shares Robert Plater, the CEO of Boston Dynamics, when talking about this amazing new robot. Stretch makes logistics operations more efficient and predictable, and it improves safety by taking on one of the most physically demanding jobs in the warehouse. Many of our early adopter customers have already committed to deploying the robot at scale, so we are excited Stretch will soon be put to work more broadly, helping retailers and logistics companies handle the continued surging demand for goods. While compared to the company's robotic dog and other robots, Stretch is not as visually appealing. But Stretch will do wonders for the logistics industry. Boston Dynamics has announced that this is a helpful new robot and is finally available for purchase. And not only that Boston Dynamics is even accepting reservations for Stretch deliveries starting in the year 2023. But what's so impressive about this robot anyway? While box-moving robotic arms are nothing new, all of them are stationary, which means they have to be fixed in a specific spot and then proceed on to design your warehouse around the robot. Stretch has more human-like flexibility given the fact that it can move around the warehouses without any problem. Stretch makes the deployment of boxes easier without requiring warehouses to be automated. Another amazing aspect of Stretch that makes it a feasible option for logistics companies is that it doesn't have to be pre-programmed, and given its advanced vision system, Stretch can autonomously identify the boxes and even their surroundings. Plus, this robot can move around without the need for any fixed infrastructure, thanks to its wheeled base. This versatile mobile robot is making warehouse operations even more efficient based on the technology of Boston Dynamics' decades of advancements in developing and deploying robots. Now let's move on to some awesome technology news. Here is the latest tiny robotic crab that is the smallest remote-controlled walking robot ever made. Designed by the engineers of Northwestern University, this tiny adorable robot is just a half millimeter wide. This invention has brought us closer to the micro-sized robots that have the ability to repair and assemble small structures and even act as surgical assistants to stop internal bleeding, clear clogged arteries, or eliminate cancerous tumors via minimally invasive procedures. Smaller than a flea, this tiny robotic crab can crawl, bend, twist, walk, turn, and even jump. This record-breaking invention is the smallest remote-controlled walking robot ever constructed. Plus, this tiny robot has a smaller than a millimeter body that doesn't need wires or electricity to operate. Instead, the robot is constructed using a shape memory alloy material that quickly transforms to its shape when heated. Its power lies within the elastic resilience of its body. Researchers make this robot move by using a scanned laser beam for heating the crab robot at different targeted locations across its entire body. The thin coating of glass elastically returns that part of the robot body to its deformed shape once it cools down. The continuous deformation and back to the remembered shape cause the robot to move. The laser beam also determines the direction of locomotion of this tiny crab. 
Because these structures are so tiny, the rate of cooling is very fast, explained John A. Rogers, who led this experimental work. In fact, reducing the sizes of these robots allows them to run faster. Up next, we have the integrated design pipeline capable of creating a customized 3D printable robot hand. If users without any specialist knowledge can successfully use this interactive design pipeline as it simplifies and streamlines the creation process of tailored robotic hands with the help of tactile sensors. One of the most exciting things about this pipeline is that it makes design accessible to a general audience. Rather than spending months or years working on a design and putting a lot of money into prototypes, you can have a working prototype in minutes, shares Lara Zulkapa, the lead author of the research project. If a designer is given the task to build a robotic hand, they will build the robotic manipulator from a set of modular components using the interface. The user can customize the robotic hand's palm and fingers to suit a specific task and then quickly incorporate tactile sensors. After the completion of the design, the software generates 3D printing and machine knitting files for producing the manipulator. The tactile sensors integrated into the robotic hand allow the manipulator to carry out difficult tasks like picking up fragile objects or using tools. These gloves incorporating the sensors are easy to install, replace, and take off. The experimentally produced manipulator had done four different jobs that included cutting paper with scissors, picking up an egg, pouring water from a bottle, and screwing in a wing nut. Still, the researchers are working on more reliable sensors that could improve manipulator performance. Just last week, researchers developed twisted soft robots that can navigate through complex environments without any help. These robots don't even require any input from humans or software programs. These soft robots demonstrate a concept called physical intelligence, meaning that structural design and smart materials are what allow the soft robot to navigate various situations as opposed to computational intelligence, said Ji Yin, the affiliate professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering at NC State and the corresponding writer of the research work. Researchers from the University of Pennsylvania and the North Carolina State University have developed these twisted soft robots from liquid crystal elastomers within the form of a twisted ribbon that resembles a translucent rotini. This robot can even navigate complex environments such as mazes. When you set the ribbon on a floor that is at least 55 degrees Celsius hotter than the air, the portion of the ribbon that touches the floor compresses while the portion exposed to the air does not. The ribbon begins to roll as a result of this. The hotter the floor is, the faster it rolls. Soft robotics is a rapidly growing field that aims to achieve smooth and complex motion by mimicking the locomotion mechanisms of soft bodies found in nature. These soft robots are made primarily of soft materials that can be used to assist surgeries due to their shape-changing abilities. Finally, we have socially aware robots capable of anticipating and safely avoiding people. People may hurry or stop unexpectedly to chat to someone else or turn in an entirely different way as they travel through places. To deal with this kind of behavior, a team of researchers used a technique of self-supervised learning, which is a machine learning approach. The new strategy allows robots to predict the future locations of dynamic obstacles in their path and so avoids colliding with people. The principle of our work is to have a robot predict what people are going to do in the immediate future, shares Hughes Thomas, the postdoctoral researcher in Barfoot's lab. This allows the robot to anticipate the movement of people it encounters rather than react once confronted with those obstacles. The use of spatio-temporal occupancy grid maps by the robot helps it decide where to move. Thus, robots are now able to navigate through indoor spaces, especially the crowded ones, in a more socially aware manner. This approach of self-supervised learning is point-centric instead of object-centric, implying that the network can expertly interpret the raw sensor data and make predictions about the movements of humans or other obstacles in the near future. This breakthrough research provides a promising direction that could have a positive impact on the areas where an environment is not entirely predictable, such as robot delivery and autonomous driving. 